came back out here working on this jewelry box. I believe I said I was going to use maple. But I had all this cherry. I had this piece of 2 inch in that. And uh, as you can see in my tight little space here. Um, yeah, I got them jointed. Plane to thickness. Uh, this, I believe, is 1.9 something inches for the top. This is a bigger piece I'll use for the base. I'm going to do a little bigger with an ogee around the edge. And then uh, three drawers and the top. I haven't decided what I'm going to put on the top, carve in, whatever. But I'm going to get going. Put my indexing holes in the base and then start on uh, drawers. I'm going to show it all. Uh, just basically going to run through and I'll... Uh, I'll show some of the tool pathing on the computer, but most of it's pretty straightforward. I still got a piece of this eight millimeter carbon fiber. So if you want to use that, fine. It's cheap, easy to get. Uh, or you can just use a dowel, three eighths, five sixteenths, whatever you can find. Just give yourself a little clearance for, uh, for the hinge so it don't bind up. I mean, I'm gonna leave four maybe five thou overall um, so yeah I'll get started here and uh, we'll get get this done okay now all the door bottoms are done about this turned over I'm going to uh, round over the edges for the top side and then uh, I'm going to pocket out the uh, drawers so here we'll get started on rounding off the top side and then we'll uh, bore out the, uh, the pockets Okay, I have a half inch end mill in here, square cut. Uh, it's a four flute though. It's from my old machine shop days. It's for steel, it's brand new though. And uh, because it's four flute, I'm slowing the RPM. I got it turned down to about 9,000. So uh, it should be fine, or it is fine. I've done it before. And then when this is done, we'll put the ball nose in and round off the inside edge of the uh, pocket. Okay, I'm going to check up this... Uh, half inch ball nose uh, mill end here and we'll take out the inside edge of this drawer then all we got to do is drill the holes and cut it out Okay, and we're off. Okay, there we have our uh, our drawers pocketed out. Nice clean job there. A little, be a little bit of sanding in there, but uh, yeah, good sharp bits run at the right speed. Does a nice clean job. I'll check up my one eighth Armana compression here, and we'll pocket out these uh, hinge pin holes and cut them out.
Okay, so there we have it. Got two drawers. Well, apparently I didn't uh, cut the hole quite deep enough. I'll, uh, I'll have to clean that out with my uh, Dremel. But yeah, nice rounded edge on the bottom. A little clean up on the edges here, a little clean up inside. I got this old uh, Dremel contour sander. It's going to be a sad day when this thing dies because they don't make it no more. And I know you can use the, uh, the multi-tools with a, uh, put a sanding disc or a sander on here, but I like that thing. That thing, I've had it for years, works great. But yeah, I'll get in here and clean all this up. I'll uh, run off the rest of these drawers and then we'll come back and do the top. Okay, I got my quarter inch uh, square end mill in here again because I had to call it in it from the from the round over bit from the other side. And I'm going to pock it out for these uh, hidden hinges I get at Lee Valley Tool. Uh, sauce I believe it is um, I used them on the last one I liked it the first one I used three barrel hinges but I like these a little better they're a little tougher so last uh, last one of these I built I used these quite successfully so uh, we're gonna pocket that out now and then after that I'll uh, I'll drill the little pilot holes for the uh, for the hinges, 1 16th, and then pocket this out, the big pocket. When it's all cleaned up inside, I'll clean it up. This will fit nice and flush. I'll put the uh, the drill bit in and drill that out right away. Okay, I got a 16th inch drill bit chucked up here. And I'm uh, going to go ahead now and, and uh, pilot drill out these uh, screw holes for the hinges. And as you can see here, I used the packing for because of the size of the drill bit and the depth it's going. I didn't want to just plunge it straight to the bottom. I'm going to give it a chance to clean out the, uh, the drill bit. And that's that. I'll set up the half inch. I'm going to use this big half inch. And uh, it's going to be just a tad noisy, so... I ain't going to record any of that. So I'll be back when this pocket is done. Okay, for the dual pathing on this lid, we have our material set up. Or not the lid, the top. Two inch thick piece. We have our material set up at one inch, but we know it's 1.95-ish about. So here's the top pocket and the top uh, ball nose end mill. So uh, we open that up and I've already chose 1.65 because it'll leave 0.3 inches, a little over a quarter of an inch for the uh, bottom of this section here. It'll be plenty of, plenty of strength and uh, I can drill these uh, uh, dowel holes on the bottom and such. So uh, like I say, we know it's already going to be uh, 
it's telling us here material thickness is one inch we're boring it out to one uh, 165 uh, but we already know better so you can you can choose to lay out the top section here in a new uh, a new file if you'd like if you find it easier but I already know that uh, it'll be fine so uh, I'm going to go back here into 2D, shut this off, and uh, shut that off. There we go. And here we see a vector here. What I did here was I offset from the outside of this vector here, offset it out, and then trimmed it. And what this vector does is uh, it's a uh, finger slot. I'm going to use the half inch ball nose, the same ball nose that I clean out the inside of these uh, pockets with. And it'll give just a little finger slot to grab the lid, e easier to get in and, and uh, get a hold of the lid and open it. So uh, you know, we'll go back and uh, we'll see how this turned out on the machine. And then uh, carry on from there. Okay, so I got the half inch. Uh tool path and everything all uh, done up here. What I'm doing here is I, uh, when I had it upside down, should have cut out the bottom half because my tool won't cut this deep. So I'll, uh, I'll re do uh, alignment holes here, cut out the top with the quarter inch compression bit. Uh, I'll have to flip it back over to finish it. Everything else is looking pretty good. Uh, see these hinges, they fit perfect in here. Just got to uh, put the screws in. And uh, so yeah, I'll, uh, I ran a, a finger notch here with a half inch ball nose while it was in. So if you choose to do that, it's not a bad idea. It's an easy way to get the lid. So I'll run the uh, the profile cut, flip it over, finish the cutout, and then we'll uh, work on the top. I'll get the top done next. And we're getting right along there. Um, trying to decide if I want to round over the inside edge or put a chamfer on. I'm going to leave it as is. Uh, if you choose to put a little chamfer, soften the edge a little bit, I'm, I'll probably just do it with the... Uh, I got the Dremel here. And, uh, and I got these little sanding... I, I don't know if I will or not. I'll decide later. To each your own. If you choose so, that's great. So I'll uh, I'll carry on, cut the profile out, flip this back over, finish the cut, and I'll be back when we start doing the lid. Okay, so the top is all done. I'm going to, uh, I got the lid on here now, the bottom side facing up. I'm going to uh, start with the uh, alignment holes in the four corners, all the same alignment holes as before, all the same pattern. And then I'll cut out the, uh, the hinge holes the same as I did on the top section. And then uh, that's pretty much it for the bottom. Then I'll turn it over and uh, um, I'll do the uh, the outer profile ogie, I'll carve some lilies in the top and cut it out. Got a little change in the plan here. I got the, uh, like I said before, I got the bottom of the lid. Rather than uh, turn this over and do the top because of the uh, three hour carving, I'm going to do this last. So uh, this is the bottom of the base. So I'll, uh, I'll get started with this. I'm going to cut out little holes for the, uh, not holes, but little recesses for the uh, one inch felt pads I put on the bottom of these. And then I'll do the alignment holes, turn it over and pocket it out. Uh, pocket it out, cut it out, do everything for the uh, top side of this base.
that's it. I just put a one inch felt um, bumpers, whatever you call them. So if it's sitting on a dresser or nightstand, wherever they put it, it'll uh, it'll not bar up the uh, furniture. Okay, now I'll do the alignment holes. I'll turn it over and uh, we'll, we'll get the uh, top pocketed out and uh, finished up. Okay, things are coming together here. I went ahead and uh, I drilled out these holes are exactly the same bolt pattern or uh, hole pattern as the bottom. This is the top, of course. So when I make the spacers, it'll, it'll line up perfectly. And uh, here I have these nylon washers. Uh, I put two on the bottom one and one between each of these sets of drawers. And they'll come into the stop here with that spacer in here and uh, in the back. So yeah, it's, it's coming together. You'll see how it's going here. I'm gonna run the Ogi around here and then I'll cut out the profile. I didn't see the sense of uh, this is exactly the same pocket pattern as these drawers, except for I'm not cutting it out. So that's all exactly the same. And uh, rounded off the inside edge here a little bit. And uh, this is a real nice piece of cherry. Lots of, uh, lots of nice waves and curves and curls in there. It's, I guess you'd call that curly, uh, curly cherry, I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll uh, finish off the bottom here, the base, and then we'll uh, and then all that's left is to uh, to do the top side of the top in these spacers. Well, it's here. We need to uh, measure. I need to measure how high my spacers are going to be between the base and the uh, and the top. So now that everything is stacked up here with all the washers I'm going to use, on this particular one I need 3.198. So. I'll make them a little, I'll give it a little clearance at the top. It's going to be sn snug, but we don't want it too tight. So uh, that'll be the next step is to lay out the two pieces that'll make the back and the center piece at the right height. And you have to wait till this point when all, all these uh, pieces are ready to go together to get that so we get it exactly right. Now if you use two drawers, four drawers, whatever you choose, you'll have to, uh, like say, you're going to put spacers in there get it all together and then measure it and it'll uh, it'll fit together perfectly so I'll go ahead and finish the base here and then uh, set up the top okay I put the lid back on uh, up to the top side up now of course and I carved out these lilies or whatever the heck kind of flower this is here so I'm just gonna put the uh, the edge around the top and cut it out and uh, it's coming right along. All I got left to do now is the spacers and put it together. Okay, I got this piece. It's a full one inch thick. Uh, very close. I rounded off the edges top and bottom. This will be the, uh, the center section and this will be the front where the drawers meet. This is the back. 
So these will be uh, rounded off on the ends. And I'll, uh, I'll cut this out now. I'm going to put a little bit of a pocket in here, just a recess for this to back into. I haven't done it before. I don't see why. Uh, it seems like a good idea. So, But I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this out. And then all we got left is drill the holes for the dowels, top and bottom. And uh, finish it and assemble it. So, uh, yeah, I'll cut this out. And then uh, I got an idea for... Uh, for aligning the, the, uh, the uh, sections for drilling to make sure the holes are perfect. We'll take a look at that and then uh, all I gotta do is finish it up, go from there. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, drill these out is uh, I got these wood clamps. I got a few of these. I use them a, a bit because if you cut into it with your router bit, it ain't gonna ruin it unless you hit a pin or something or the clamp. So I got that set up here and this is about as square as I can get it. Like it, uh, it's just hovering on there all the way down. So I'll stick this in here. I got a stopper here. It's one of these clamps without the uh, adjustment on the back. Stick that in there. This in here. I'll square it up with this machinist square. And that's about as square as square can get. Now I can drill two uh, dowel holes here and two here, turn it over, use this uh, bumper again, It'd be easy to get repeatability, and then all the machining is done on this jewelry box. So I'll go ahead and, uh, and uh, drill out these uh, dowel holes. Okay, I'm running the uh, pocket tool path for these uh, dowels. This is the last step in the machine for this project and then uh, in a minute here we'll see how everything fits together. Okay, so now we're down to what it's all about. The satisfying finishing part of this whole thing. I, uh, I cut my uh, carbon fiber dowels here to length. And I got the back piece here and the other spacer here. And as you can see that uh, alignment with the, uh, the little wood clamp there worked out perfect everything fit so uh, now we're gonna uh, do a little assembly here I got these nylon washers off of eBay so I put two on the bottom and then uh, we'll just assemble this here Let's slip this on here and uh, as you can see here like everything lines up perfect. It's a perfect fit. So put another washer. Another drawer. And one more washer on top. We'll do the same on this side.
tight fit there. Okay, here we go. Okay. And then the top here. So I rounded this off from here around. Okay. And uh, when we glue this all together, it'll it'll all fit nice and tight, nice and snug. And then we got our hinges here. And then the lid. Now I'm not going to finish and assemble everything today. Uh, just going to uh, like it's it's just here where I live. It's just too cold for finish for. Uh, shellac and everything so uh, but yeah as you can see here everything fits together nicely uh, I got the little groove here finger groove for the lid and uh, yeah I like making these I made uh, what the heck three four now maybe this is the fifth one fourth one I don't know and uh, and they they like them people like them and because it's unique it's different and uh, I say you machine everything up nice and tight and snug and everything fits together and as you've seen in the other video uh, they work pretty good now this hinge I used the carbon fiber on when I assemble this final assembly I'll put a little uh, I might have to take a little bit out of this it's a little tight I'll put a little wax in there just for uh, and that's one of the reasons I use the carbon fiber is uh, the wood won't swell and seize on each other and with a little bit of wax on here it fits together good and it moves good and uh, but yeah I'll, I'll clean this out a wee bit just so it don't get too tight so but yeah I'll just clean it up finish it up sand it all uh, seal it with shellac maybe put some poly on it and we'll get another one down so thanks for watching if you like what you see please subscribe